on the east side Dave show, baby Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special edition of the Eastside Dave Show with Roy Harder. You may notice I forgot my sunglasses at home. However, on your face. Thank you to Robert. Right there. Supply these, and they are oh. ten times better than my other sunglasses. Oh, okay. Thank you, Robert. Now, without further ado, let's throw it over to our master of ceremonies, Mr. Eastside David McDonald. Davidians and Roy Harder, top five yeah. shittiest yeah. introductions Woo. of all time. Woo. Awful. You, uh, in the middle of your introduction, you ranted about sunglasses for yeah. seven and a half yeah. minutes. Yes, David. What was that about sunglasses? Well, you kept saying, I, I forgot my sunglasses. Yes. And I'm like, but you're, you were wearing them. So yeah, I but, was like, why? Well, because typically my other sunglasses right. are, the, are the mirrored ones. No those, one cares. Those are the ones that give me the special Doesn't powers, matter. David. They give me that, the special that, powers. That's one of those um, East Side Dave storylines or subplots yeah. that no one gives a fuck about. Me neither, he, the, the, the Roy uh, forgot sunglasses, so yeah. he replaced them with other sunglasses. David, I'm also wearing two different colored socks today. <laughs> That's almost as bad as your jungle bit, <laughs> which was a famous comedy sketch that Roy Har uh, Harder wrote in which Roy and Dave were in the jungle. That was it. That was the end of the sketch. I said, Roy, maybe you need to flesh it out a little bit. Yeah. He's like, uh, maybe you, uh, we meet a tiger at some point. Yeah, we were hunting tigers. Yeah, it, wasn't, it was terrible. Terrible. Well, thank you so much for that uh, horrendous yeah. introduction. Yeah. Cheers, David. Cheers. And big A. And Robert. And Stevie Lowe. Oh, hey. Garrett. Oh. And Drew. On the other side of the glass. You ever notice uh, Sports Talk Radio, they always call those guys the other, other side, side of the glass. Yeah. On the other side of the glass. They got Drew and Garrett working on the other side of the glass. What is that? What's that all about? Yeah, good question, David. I don't see any glass. Thing. You, There's you no know? glass here. Um, Roy, yeah. we have a busy show. Yeah, I know. Okay, we have all a right. lot to get to. There's right. a Scheiser list entry or Whoa. two. Oh, shit. Controversial Scheiser list entry. One is a stranger, mm. and one is very close to home, motherfuckers. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we got Roy Harder. He promised me he's going to do a ventriloquist act. I said, okay, I got to see this. I, I Tell me no, no, nothing else. No more. Yeah. I want to see it. Don't forget. IWF on ESDS match of the night is tonight. Yeah. Kevin Knight takes on uh, Michael Kamen in a very special match. We'll get into that later. But right now, Gratuitous Talks on my life. Yeah. Uh, Roy. Yes, David. John Gruden was forced to resign for using racial and homophobic slurs in an email. Forced to resign? I mean, at Compound Media, that kind of talk gets you a bonus, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the Michelin tires line. Did you hear? I didn't. He said an African American, but this guy is a very smart head of the players' union. Yeah. He said he had uh, lips the size of Michelin tires. Whoa! And he tried to say, he tried to say, I just meant he talks a lot. He's running his mouth. I'm mm. like, no one's, oh. <laughs> no one's ever said you have lips the size of Michelin tires as a synonym for you're running your mouth. That's never been done. Before. Dave, were, were the tires red also? <laughs> uh, DC Comics announced the next Superman comic will feature a gay Clark Kent. What? Wow, yes, a gay Superman is headed to, towards you, Roy Horner. Oh, and, keep, keep your distance. Hey, and in a strange twist, Marvel superhero Cum Gargler has announced he's actually straight and only gargles come to remove plaque. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> that was good. I've got Cum 8. Very rare, very rare issue. Oh my God. You gotta, he takes on uh, Dr. Uh, Dildo Octopus, I believe. Um, Mark Harmon has exited NCIS after 18 seasons. Oh no. In related news, 
Who gives a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> on Twitter. I just look at Twitter seven minutes before the show and write these really shitty jokes. And it's like fucking Mark Harmon Mark is Harmon. retiring from NCI. It's like, that's actually trending. Like, for real? Does anyone fucking care? I couldn't even tell you what Mark Harmon looks like. You know, Mark Harmon, the actor. Oh, is it the guy from Star Wars? No, oh. he wasn't in fucking Star Wars. <laughs> I, don't I don't know who he is. That's Mark Hamill, you God. piece of shit. Oh, what's the difference? Mark Harmon was in... Uh, <laughs> Stuff. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, give me some more background. He was, he, was, he was Jethro Gibbs. He was Jethro oh, Gibbs. Okay. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Jethro remember? Gibbs. Yeah. Jethro Gibbs. I Jethro know. Gibbs. You remember Jethro yeah. Gibbs? Yeah. Yeah. Jethro Gibbs. Deliverance. I told I you. Yeah, I got you. Penn State <laughs> blew a lead to Iowa Saturday after their starting quarterback got injured. Uh, Robert wrote this joke and he slid this in there. <laughs> it was tragic and emotionally damaging, almost as damaging as being molested by the defensive coordinator. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I said that I already had a football joke. You should have saved it for next week. Penn State's going nowhere. I said I had a football joke already. He had a football I joke. I had a football joke. I said I liked the joke. I said I liked it. <laughs> Give me some music. Five and butts, butts in five. Woo! No one butts gets but a lot. Okay, stop it. What are we doing? <laughs> you tell doing me that. was strange. They found a two headed turtle outside of Boston. <laughs> and uh, so here's what I say we do I say we, we call one head Matt Damon, the other head Ben Affleck, and we make sure the latter turtle head has a booze problem. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what a Roberts do? Right. Oh, you fucking cunt. Give me credit, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Roy Harder will sell you out in a, in a fucking nanosecond. Oh yes, he will. He 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 uh, he uh, he um. Uh, there was some kind of joke at Andrew's expense when we were going over some jokes before yeah. the show. Yeah. And as soon as Robert left the, the uh, studio, uh, Roy goes, "You know, Robert wrote that, right, Andrew? I didn't write that. That's not me." <laughs> You are a fun. You're quickly becoming the side Dave Show Weasel. I'm telling you, it's the shades, dude. It's these new fucking shades. That's David. what the excuse is, be. not the drug use. <laughs> what else could it be? Dude? Machine Gun Kelly now has long hair and says he's a legit rock star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like saying that the East Side Dave Show is a real show. <laughs> oh, my music. Oh, my music. We know it's not. Let's be honest. We know it's not. But it's something. Can't deny that we're here and you're, you know, watching us or listening to us. So it is something, but it's not a TV show, right, Andrew? I mean, fuck no. We're not on television right now. Is my point? Because otherwise, fuck someone no, should tell me in you know the TV yeah, guide. I, I yeah, subscribe. Fuck no, Mr. Champion. You know. And uh, as far as a uh, radio show, I don't think we're on the radio. It's not a radio show, right, Andrew? I mean, Who would have us on? Who would have us on? Thank you. Thank you for giving me the confidence that I needed with that comment. So what are we watching here, Andrew? These time they show. That's what you're watching. When I'm with you, baby, I go out of my head. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. All the things you do to me and everything you said. I just can't get enough. Roll that bad boy. I just can't get enough. You slip inside and you fall apart. But I just can't seem to get enough. I'm we walk together, we're walking down the street. And I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. And every time I think of you, I know we have to meet. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. It's getting hotter and it's burning in love, but I just can't seem to get enough. Roy Shining down for me. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. Just like a rainbow, you know you set me free. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. You're like an angel and you give me your love. But I just can't seem to get enough of you.
up tonight because Whew. there's a new piece of shit on the hit parade. His name is White Sox Dave. Boo. He made the um, fuck him. Made the fucking news by um, accosting John Cusack oh. like a little weak ass punk. Cool. He was like, Neh. anyway, he actually sp he literally goes like this. Uh, uh. He spazzes out at the end of the video because he doesn't know how to finish a bit, which I love. <laughs> you know, he got himself into something. You always have to plan the end of your bit. If it's going nowhere, yeah. just freak out. <laughs> Pour fucking water on yourself. <laughs> uh, light yourself in fire. You just freak the fuck out. Fall down. Do a goddamn break dance yeah. like the Dave man. <laughs> at the fucking Twitter awards. This is what you have to do, White Sox, Dave. It came across very shitty because you pussied out. You, we you were weak. But then, when I was really paying attention, I learned that White Sox Dave put John Cusack on his band list. Oh. What? Watch this fucking video no. and listen up for him on the band you list. Can't, I, 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 it's, it's all I'm about, I'm in a movie about that. Half the, half the fun about being a fan is being miserable. You can't just go to the Cubs side when... I, I, I went to the ballpark for the But that doesn't count. You can't do that. That's like against the rules. That's the best part of having in Chicago is that you got two teams to root for. We'll have, we'll have to agree to disagree. Agree to disagree, I guess, but I think it's... Uh, uh, you have to uh, stinks. Stinks. Cusack, he's banned. He's number one on my band list. Oh. Oh. First of all, no. White Sox, Dave, you fucking cunt. I've been doing the Scheiser list. For seven fucking years, Whoa. you're on it now, you yeah, piece of shit, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. you fucking piece of garbage. Hit it, Roy. Shine it up. Shine it up. Oh my God. You're on the one with the oh, weed. Oh, oh, see that? What? That's you, White Sox Dave, in the middle of a fucking asshole. Because we're not some weak, soft ass bitches who fucking tried to accost John Cusack just because he likes rooting for the White Sox oh, and the Cubs. There's a dick. There's a dick. Oh. There's a dick at the bottom, Steven. <laughs> Oh a big, God. thick, white, fucking venereal disease dick for White Sox Dave. And it's preposterous. I know when I came up years ago, this goes back to Davey Mac's sports program. Yeah. And then we, we kept doing it on the Eastside Dave uh, show with Roy yeah. Harder. Yeah. We, well, I know that the Scheisel list is gold. The way it's presented is gold. You know how I know? Because very shortly after the Scheisel list was getting lots of buzz, who stole it? Chris Jericho. Oh, WWE had no. the list of Jericho. Oh. Check your timelines. We beat him by six months yeah. making people laugh and doing our fucking shit with Dave this. Dave wins and again. Dave, Dave wins again. Dave wins again. Dave, Dave wins again. And now we've again. got this fucking know. asshole, White Sox Dave. <laughs> yeah. Even that feels like he's ripping me off. Eastside uh, Dave. Yeah. White Sox Dave. I'll Three syllables with a Dave. Yeah. White Sox Dave. Eastside Dave. Who am I? Am I White Sox Dave? Really? No, 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 no. Okay, because no, no. I can't even fucking tell the difference between myself anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Am I from Chicago? No, no, no. no, no, no. Jersey. All right. Because I don't know. Maybe I'm White Sox Dave. No. And no. he's Eastside Dave. No. Because no. he was second. That guy in there is not Eastside Dave. No, because you're he's, talented, Dave. He's, make, he's a caustic celebrity. He's acting like a jerk off in public. And he's putting people on fucking band lists. This is a very... You know what? Double Shizer, bitch! Oh, double Shizer! Double Shizer! You're the one that made double the spider. I ain't gonna take it anymore! No one needs to push me around anymore! Yeah! Who are you? Huh? You looking at me funny, sunglasses boy, huh? It's, it's, you want a piece of me? It's the shades. I know. Oh, okay. All it's right. the shades. It's the shades. Because yeah. uh, you were looking at me funny, but I, now I, I'm realizing it was the shades. It was the shades. And I will admit, David, Go I'm ahead. not 100% even certain that that man that he was talking to was in fact John Cusack. Oh. <laughs> it was John Cusack. Now, he how do you know that? Because you didn't see the beginning of the clip. It was oh, John okay. Cusack. He just put his mouth up because the little oh. fucking mouth breather, a mask because the mouth breather was um, spitting all over him. Masks don't do shit anyway, David. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, I don't want to go down that route. All Thank right, you very enough. much. Plus, that's your opinion. Certainly not mine. Fair enough. I think that we should be uh, Me and John listening Cusack. to science. I'm not we'll going to go down that route. Thank you very much. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm double vaccinated. And I have a, I wear a mask when it's appropriate, but I go outside without a mask because I can go outside. That's what they say to do. I never wear oh, a mask. Yeah, yeah, never yeah. wear a mask. Okay. I well, we're not. We're real. I was not interested in taking this into a political mask Fair conversation. Enough, David. Fair but enough. I can tell you that I don't. Dis I don't agree with you about the mask not working. That's why okay. I have a fucking beard, David. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, go ahead, Robert. Dave, you know I think you're the greatest like broadcaster entertainer of all time, right? Yes, it's true. So my question is, how would you have properly handled this bit with John Cusack? Would you have ended? I by would have gone up to John Cusack. I would have said, "Listen, John, are you a White Sox fan or a Cubs fan?" 
I'd like to know, cause the guy of me immediately instead he he goes like this, cause he basically the guy was pissed at John Cusack for rooting for both the Cubs and the White Sox. They have pictures of him. And so the guy goes, um, hey, you can't do that. By the guy, the guy's a total dweeb. He had to be what five three? Yeah, fucking I would two forty. And the guy goes, up, hey, you can't do that. So I would have approached him and I would have said, John, just I just like to know, are you a White Sox fan or a Cubs fan? And then if he said, I like both teams, I'd pull out a gun and fucking shoot him in the yeah. head. <laughs> Dave wins again. Dave, Dave wins again. again. I end a bit. Dave, Dave wins, wins again. again. You got to end a bit, Roy Hawkins. Yeah, I like the idea of shooting someone to end a bit. That's I'm what we're talking about. Keep that in mind. You right? have to have a big fucking uh, punctuation or you got to get dragged away by the cops, a la the Beatles, a la the Davey Mac on the Twitter awards show. You gotta, it's got to be an ending, not this. Oh. <laughs> Well, it stinks. <laughs> what was that ending move? Can you just play the ending where he goes in the camera? Oh, it stinks. Uh, it stinks. It's creepy. Uh, I put you on my naughty I posted list. about this, too, and then all of a sudden my fucking tweet got deleted. And I'm wondering if Twitter is in cahoots with Barstool. Fuck yeah. Oh. I checked my Twitter. It says the tweet, the tweet was deleted by the author. I didn't fucking delete it. Oh, I'm wondering. I'm, I'm, my eye's on you now. You are shadow banned. Twitter. I don't know if I ever have it. Look. Here he is. What, what was the spazzy move with the hands at the end? Oh, oh, it stinks. That's my impression of White Sox Dave. You got slow uh, internet here. It's, the same, it's the same move Bobo makes anytime he gets flustered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Dave if, if, you, if you shoot and kill John Cusack, I will never get to see that High Fidelity uh, sequel. That I, I like for. High Fidelity. <laughs> uh, I don't want to shoot. And I like John Cusack. Yeah. I think, no, no, my main thing was that, I mean, between Better Off Dead... Uh, gross point blank. Yeah. High fidelity. Yeah. I mean, yeah. What, what's what's not to eight men out? It's yeah. a great a great fucking baseball movie. What's not to like? You fucking dick bag. And by the way, eight men out. He plays a goddamn member of the White Sox. Hello. Okay. Oh, here he Look is. at this. Stinks. It stinks. 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 Uh, just as somebody who might be doing a bit with Roy later, he seemed pretty enthusiastic about ending his bits with a gunshot. Could we potentially give him <laughs> another ending to go out on? Um, we'll see. Exactly what I was thinking I'm about. I'm curious. David. I'm curious about what your bit could possibly be. There's a be. gun laying around here somewhere. Um, <laughs> all right. So that's, you know what? Just one last time because this guy is a fucking piece of shit. And White Sox did. Triple Sizer! Triple Sizer! Triple Sizer! You're the one we triple Sizer! <laughs> I'm not put, good put that fucking anal cavity on the green screen behind it was me. never good oh no triplets. no don't jesus come on dude oh what's gonna happen now <laughs> oh what the oh. fuck i can't oh god <laughs> it's like a fucking window into the future dude this is your fucking hell white sock no. day <laughs> me and you in a fucking butt for the rest of our lives <laughs> after how you treated john cusack um, what did you want to do your bit now with Roy Harder? Yeah, yeah. Roy, I, I say we do it now. So oh, that this right. way we're no pressure. Uh, we're All running right. out of show, blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, okay. Um, so I've been talking to Roy and I said, you know, Roy, I've done a lot of puppet acts. Um, but I would, I'd be interested to see what a Roy Harder puppet act would be. Oh, Cause yeah. you know, I've done a lot of puppet acts over my time. I love, yeah. I love puppets, but sometimes I like to watch. I, I, I don't always want to be doing it. Yeah, I want to experience Seaside Dave show with Roy Harder. And, um, and you said you're going to do that now yeah. today? Matter okay. of fact. I'm so gonna... wait, wait, what's the situation? Well, Is everyone first, ready? First, I'm going to get my puppet into place here. Okay. I'm going to really quickly do a quick little thing. Yeah. Uh, hold on a second. Go ahead. All right. Stay focused on me, Drew. I think I I, I think you <laughs> <laughs> This is uh Oh, I see what's so, happening. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stretch for Roy. And Andrew, just stretch a little bit. Stretch. No need to stretch, David. Uh, stretch. My, my shoulder's just let killing me. Stretch, okay, okay you stretch, stretch away. You stretch. stretch away. Get your back, Dave. Lower back is real good. Yep, there you go. Oh, All right. I've stretched stretch. enough. I'm stretching. All right, too, I think I've stretched. Okay. Okay. Well, All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? I would what like, the shit is I would this? like to introduce you to oh my my, my new puppet, <laughs> Rob, 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 Robert O. Robert O! Oh. Robert O! Oh. Say hi, Robert O. Hi! <laughs> I don't really mean say hi. I'm going to be doing the talking. You're my, you're my tummy, remember? <laughs> He's off to a horrendous okay. start. Now listen. Hey, Robert O. Do you know <laughs> how to fix six, how to fit six million Jews 
What is this? In a Honda what? Accord? <laughs> Tell them Bobo is driving. Only four people will be willing to drive with them. Oh, <laughs> what the <joke>. fuck? <laughs> hey, Roberto. Robert O. <laughs> how do you know? It's Robert O. How Robert O's is fucking. Oh <laughs> how, do you, how do you keep a black kid from jumping oh on the bed? God. Oh, what, what the is this? Let Roy choreograph the music like he did my karaoke last week. Those kids won't know what hit them. Oh, my oh, God. Jesus. Bo, Bo, the throwback. Oh, man. Oh, I know. Throwback from a week ago. No way. All of our brain cells are destroyed. Never do throwbacks from a week ago. Hey, Roberto, why was the black girl late? <laughs> Robert O. Robert O. <laughs> why was... <laughs> you don't know that he was fucking kidding. <laughs> I never got him baptized, all right? He's officially nameless until I name him. All right, now listen. Why was the black girl late, Robert O? Why? Flutzy was a ride! Oh, Flutzy oh, was a ride! Yeah. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> hey, Roberto, do you know why Indian people smell? Oh my god! They've been hanging out with Big A's! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! That was a no. good one, Roberto! Big A! Andrew, you gonna take that from this fucking puppet? Big this a. little fucking cowboy puppet? Did you hear that? Don't be no, mad no, at no, Roberto! No, 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 no. Big A, no. Hey, no, Stevie, no, make sure no. he doesn't. He, he looks like it. a little mad because he's been drinking it. I wrote that one. He's been drinking it. I wrote that one. I wrote that one. That one was one of mine. Apologies <laughs> for, the, for Robert O. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, Robert O, why didn't the Mexican. Cross the border. Oh, God. She saw Flutzy in body paint and thought it was sex trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. He's a rough one. Hey, last question. R <laughs> Roberto. My friend. Roberto. Roberto. <laughs> How do you stop five black guys oh, from raping a girl? <gasps> oh. This is really offensive. Tell them Big A already murdered her. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Robert, man. oh, fucking hell. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Is that it? That's it, man. Get, <laughs> you got my gun. I want to go get my gun. Somebody got my gun. I'm going to put my I'm going to put my puppet out of order here. Right endings to your bits. And that was me and my puppet, Robert O. Oh. <laughs> like, let's finish him off. Right the fucking end. <laughs> So, what do you think? Better than the jungle bit, Dave? I have a lot of issues with your bit. First of all, that was not a puppet. That was Robert. <laughs> Second of all, I had my first puppet yeah. was Roberto. So I see that you were mocking me by calling him Roberto. It was oh. very, it was very, uh, you know, deep track. I wouldn't say mocking, mocking but it was a, a deep tribute. track mocking. Tribute. I got what you were doing there. Tribute. Thing. And then, and then, and then, and then also. The content that yeah. you wrote for Robert O was was dark. Part, yeah, I mean dark, dark and uh, inappropriate. Inappropriate in, today, Dave, to the, in, in the day and age we live in. Yeah. Dave, that, that wasn't just Robert. That was Robert with magic marker all over his face. Roy drew magic marker all over his face. Is that what for... you did? That was my favorite part of the bit. Because now <laughs> you're gonna have to watch that shit off. All right. Now let's get. Uh, is our guy, our guy here or no? No. Okay, that's fine. That's, all right. fine. that's fine. Um. All right. Uh, I got another person on the Shizer. And oh. I told you, White Sox, Dave, Robert, please take that off. It's a, it's distracting. I'm actually doing a show. <laughs> he, he's just like wearing a Jason mask. I thought, that was part when... of the, I thought that was another bit coming up. Well, I mean, we're going to do a Halloween episode in fucking three weeks, so we'll save it for that. Um, <laughs> White Sox, Dave, was the stranger on the Shizer list. There was someone very close to the program Ooh. who is on the Shizer list, Roy. This is where you give me a bum bum bum, like a detective type of thing. Well, I'm afraid that it might be me, oh, David, after that last It bit. might be. Holy oh, shit. So... Let's go! One by one! Is Andrew Gold on the Shizer oh. list? No, Andy! Yeah. You're good! Yes! Could have been. Yes. Suspect number two is Robert! Oh, on the Shizer oh, list! It has to be. Gotta be Robert. It has to be. It should be. <laughs> You're not getting shit out of me, pig. I'm not confessing to shit, Dave. I'm just looking. Those black tears now may kind of make you look like Sting, the wrestler, <laughs> yeah. not not the Sting from the police. I mean, I, it's I'm it's I kind of like it. I kind of like the black stuff. It looks like I'll Morris go grab a like lady. Not Robert. Not on the Shizer oh. list. No, he's clear. Could it be Stephen Lewis? Stevie Lou? It probably should be. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. I'm innocent. He's on a lot of lists, Dave. He's uh, on a lot of lists. On a lot of drugs. <laughs> I know. Robert's talking about though the governmental lists uh, and true. the neighborhood Fuck. lists 
you know, the type of list where you have to go house to house, ring a doorbell and say, hi, I'm Stevie Lou, I did some stuff years ago. <laughs> My probation <laughs> officer is watching, Dave. Thank you for, for making sure they know that. It is not Stevie Lou! It's not Stevie Lou! Oh, man. So that means... Who could it be? Oh, the, I'll, no. I'll say right out, Drew and Garrett are always gold, so you, we know it's not them. Oh, shit, David. So that means there's one motherfucker. There is... Oh, you keep looking around. You keep looking around, Nazi boy. Who could it be, David? Yeah, why don't you look in the fucking mirror? Who could it be? Who could it be? What is it? Uh, that song from that band? Who could it be now? Men at work, David. Men at work, huh? Is it that song? You know what? It's not Roy! Oh. The person who is on the Scheiser list is not in studio, but still very close to the show. And the next time he's in studio, we will destroy him physically. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. Please Stopping show the up. tweet. Please show the tweet that I saw on Twitter. Please show the fucking tweet that I saw on fucking Twitter. What? Please show that fucking what tweet is, that I Here we go. That? I would oh. Bobo. Oh. I would like to. Bobo says on Twitter, I would like to extend the congrats to my friends who are Red Sox fans on advancing to the ALCS. Oh. Oh, he knows. He knows that the Yankees are my favorite team. Oh. The Yankees are Andrew's favorite fucking team. Fuck yeah. yeah. And this yes. is a fucking direct kick in the fucking dick oh. from Bo. Furthermore. We seized illegal footage of Bobo at Fenway Park recently. What? Play the clip. Oh my God. Play the no, clip. No. Listen. Fuck the Yankees. Fuck the Yankees, Andrew. <laughs> I, I don't know how we I don't know how we grab this footage. We're not gonna reveal our sources. As you know, as proper journalists, we never reveal our sources, especially our sources that probably should have been cut out of the video the last two one and a half I, seconds. I, I tried, I guess we, yeah, the, the next time we we should probably cut our sources out of the video. Confidential. That was confidential material. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, Andrew, first yes. the tweet yes. that he is so fucking with us, it's not even funny. Secondly, chanting, fuck the Yankees at Fenway Park. Bo, you motherfucker. I love you, pal. You're on the shy side. You're the ones we despise. <laughs> Andrew, what do you think about this? I see you raising your hand. This is fucked up. Am I wrong? What? A <laughs> this gets me so angry and so pissed off. All right, easy. Whoa. Robert, you know, we don't kill him. Part-time fucking bow here. Part-time bow. Oh. What's uh, I see you have a what do you have a few notes here? Yeah. Okay, this is oh. interesting. These are written by you. <laughs> yes, it was. I want to make that clear. Not, not by me. Okay. 100%. All right. Well, what 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 are your so uh, what? You have a few bow gripes? Yes. All right. Go ahead. Oh. Um, it's six pages long. <laughs> I, Jesus. There is a lot of writing on that. Go ahead. Give me your bow gripes. That's a lot of writing. <laughs> Robert, you should take a picture of this fucking list because this is such serial killer shit. It's amazing. Maybe I should take a picture. All right, Angel, let's go. What's your thing? What's your gripes? Because we got to get to it. Oh, uh, Bo. Give a high five up your pretentious ass because you're always giving that fans high, high, uh, high fives. <laughs> Give a high five up your pretentious ass. He gave a, a high. Whoa. Did you? What, what was he saying? You know how Bo's always giving high fives to everybody. Uh, yes. Big A's gonna give him a high five up his pretentious ass. Oh. <laughs> no, I know. But what are the gripes? I mean, why do you dislike Bo? Because this is yours. We, I, we believe it or not, we did not write you anything tonight. Why are you upset at him? Is it the? I mean that. Was it that stuff? That upset me. That upset me a lot. I am, I'm actually in mourning with the Yankees. I really thought this was going to be the year. I came into 2021 saying, this is the year the Yankees are back on top. I had it Sorry. in my head, in my heart. Everything was going to happen. And when it didn't happen, I'm just fucking gutted. But at least my fucking team didn't finish 12 games under 500 Ooh. and not even make the fucking oh, playoffs. You were saying he's only he 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 gives us nothing until he wins. Go into that little fucking thing. That's what you were you were you were yes, you yes. were fucking going back and forth yes. today. What? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bubble Gums has no fucking energy at all. <laughs> and you tell him for the show, uh, uh, everybody, high energy and focus enthusiasm. He goes, like, no sure. fucking energy. But if he wins something, then he's, oh, oh yeah. Oh, I say, I say, I say. proof. He does yeah. that every time. Yes, Robert. I think what he's trying to say, Dave, is he acts like White Sock Dave most of the time, and then oh. when he wins, he spazzes out. He acts like Eastside no, Dave. Yeah. Dave, I was going to say really quick, it's, he's like the John it stinks, Cusack. It stinks. Who is, it who stinks. Is? So Bobo's like the John Cusack of the situation. He's rooting for two teams. He's rooting for it the Mets stinks. and the... <laughs> I know. I can't pay attention. I'm sorry. It's, it's I'm, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't it's pay attention. Either. I don't know what he's. Do- I mean, obviously he's doing a White Sox Dave impression, yes. Yes. but I don't know why you're doing it while Steve is clearly trying to talk. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, I do like the impression. Just right. do it. Let Stevie talk, and then right. and then we're gonna go back to so you. Back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Like ping pong. So I'm saying he's like the John Cusack of this situation yeah. here, and then That's big, right. big A is like the. White Sox Day? It stinks. There we go. All right. All right. So, yeah. So, Bubba's got to pick a side. I love him, and I've been up to Boston with him, as you can see. And he's- All right. Let's see. Uh, Bo, um, very, very disappointed in that, that anger. You know, when the fucking Mets do well, I don't just, I, it's, it's not like I fucking, you know, grab my no. ball and go home and start crying and be like, oh, fuck the Mets, fuck the Mets, fuck the Mets. I do realistically say what the Mets are, which is a... Shitty organization. <laughs> I mean, all you have to do is look around in the last fucking 30 years, yeah, I mean. and that will instantly tell you that the amount of fucking issues and just fucking problems and just circus incidents that the Mets have fucking had have yeah. showed you that their fucking entire organization is garbage. But I don't I don't sit here and be like, oh, I, you know what it is about the Mets? I don't fucking care. They mean nothing to me. They're, they're nothing. Good. They're nothing. That's a bigger man. They're and a bigger they, they man. And yet Mets fans with their little feeble fucking minds always got to shit on the Yankees hmm. out of pure jealousy. I expected more, Bo. I expected more. I see people on Twitter tell people, do better. <laughs> do better, Bo. Do better, do better Bo. Bo. Do better, 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 Bo. Oh, my God. Do better, Bo. That's, that's masturbating. I know. I thought... The, the, I, Thought I had a few more seconds. It was going to be a That's... shot on you guys. I didn't think Drew was going to get back to a shot up here. <laughs> Apologies. I thought I had a few more seconds. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. I was just going to say I thought I thought Bo might be the John Ballsack of the situation. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, like Cusack. Cusack. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> yes, Robert. Also, Dave, I, I don't know if you saw something when you were looking at social media earlier. I, I saw something that I thought was quite comical, involving a close member of the East Side Dave show as oh, well. Fuck. Oh, okay, yeah. let's go. Real quick. Garrett, I hope you have that, buddy. Garrett, do you have what he's talking about? What, 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 I, what he is talking he talking about? about? Yeah. Basically, somebody posted something that I thought was quite hypocritical online. I, I got All right. Why don't we do um, the song first and arrange that? Because he doesn't have the video. Perfect. I'll but go. Let's, Drew, do you I'll have think. the song, the flutesy song? All right. We're going to oh, play so the flute game right yeah. now. Hit that music. Okay. So here's what you do. You call this phone number that's going to be flashed on the bottom of the screen. And it's a great phone number that you will call in order to play the flute game. And there it is. 877-962-6846. And if you can guess the movie, okay, that's all we need. The movie that the song is from. You are the October 12th, 2021 Eastside Dave Show champion. Hold on. No bullshit. Tonight, you know what we're doing? What's that? If you win the flute game, you're getting an Eastside Dave Billy Mitchell poster. Whoa! And if no one wins, it's going into the house right here. Between Andrew and Stevie. Dave, are those signed? Signed posters? They are not. But oh. I could sign one for you, Steve. Well, they'll be signed. Yeah, we'll get them signed. But, but uh, Andrew and Steve, they're here. They will grab your poster because they both said they want a poster. We both want one. And yeah. you know what I told them? No. Yeah. Posters uh. are for the fans. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Re- round of applause for, my, for me yeah, being so I, magnanimous. I'm a no, man. No posters oh, for the quitters. That's poetic, Dave. That's really poetic. <laughs> I said, Roy, I go like this. 
posters for the people. Oh, magnanimous. That's it. Better. That was better. That was better. Sing it like he's magnanimous. He's magnanimous. You know what I said? I go. I could give it to Andrew. Sure, I could. I give it to you know Stevie Little. Right, of course, right. I could. I'm gonna give it to the audience. Whoa. Whoa. He's magnanimous. I'm magnanimous. You heard the fucking song. Go ahead. He's magnanimous. Sorry, but if it's in musical form, it's true. We already have a caller on the line. Make sure you're calling up eight seven seven nine six two six eight four six. Um, let's play the video. Call us up, 877-962-6846. We're going to go to Bradley first, but if Bradley doesn't get it right, it's going to you. And I see more people calling up, so this is good. All right, let's play the flute song now. Now. Hello. How's it going? How's everybody? <laughs> I have a tune. She always does that. See if you can guess it. Is she wearing the same clothes from last week? This is this video from last week. Drew, for fuck's sake. This is New York, New York. New York, New York from last week. I go and she wears the same clothes. For that, how good am I? For a All second. the brain cell damage that, that, that I've undergone, you and I instantly said, is she wearing the same clothes from last week? No one else, though. For a second, we thought she didn't shower. That was the problem. Dave, right it one. looks exactly like the same clothes. Oh, okay, all right, here we go. What's up? It's Flutes. Um, I heard we're doing a little prize giveaway, of course, when I'm not there in studio. Oh, can someone grab a um, poster? But it's in order to win the prize, somewhere. you have to guess the song. You know where it is? And I didn't pick the song, which means Dave picked the song, which means you're probably going to guess it because it's not going to be this out of this world crazy nonsense that no one's going to know. What is she so rambling ready. about? I don't know. Fuck. She just does it, you know, it's, she, it, it's, a, it's a simple process of playing the Here song. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is fucking easy. Oh, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't give anything away. We've got callers, Stephen. In fact, we have a caller from Scotland, but he was not <laughs> the first one on the line. You always ruin her that performances a, with a sneeze or a cough. That was Are you aware of this? It was, I, you're right, David. That, that was unintentional. That was, Bullshit. I, I, I don't know. You say that every week. Maybe that was a clue. <laughs> Unless you're allergic to <laughs> Well. Hope you get it right. Must be Puerto Ricans. Puerto Rican allergies. Oh, oh here we go. Okay, that was it. All right. Now, Bradley was definitely first, and I play this game on the up and up. But if Bradley does Ooh. not get this, we got some other callers on the line. Bradley, are you there? Okay, Mr. Champion, I'm pretty confident in this. Go ahead, Bradley. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Is it from the movie Bond? James Bond. James Bond. Well, Bradley, I'm going to go on a limb and speak up for Mr. Champion here and say that you are. You are correct, Bradley! I know the posters are here. I hope. Just check it. Check in the back, in the closet. There's definitely a poster back there. Found it. There you go. Woo! Thank yes! You. Thank you yes! Very much. Yes! Wow, Thank Bradley's you. excited. Bradley, you see this? You're going to have to stay on hold and give Gary your address because this bad boy, the King of Kong, Billy Mitchell, East Side Dave official poster is now yours, Bradley. Yeah, that's, nice. that's yours, shit. Bradley, baby. Fuck. All right. Fuck, that was going to be ours. That was going to be yours, Steve. Fuck. God damn it. All right, we got to get... Uh, but Thank before we go, then, champion. congratulations, Bradley. And Bradley, you yeah. are the October 12th, 2021 Eastside Dave Show champion. Feel free to change your Twitter profile to state as much, because that's something to brag about. Um, that poster is Jerry going isn't... up on my fucking living room wall. <laughs> congratulations again, Bradley. Key, uh, stay on hold. Stay on hold, Garrett. We'll get your address. Garrett, put this guy on hold. Can we hear from Jerry, though? Is he really from Scotland, or what's the deal with this yeah. guy? Jerry, you call us from <laughs> Scotland? Yeah, I was going to say it was New York, New York, but... <laughs> 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 you know what? Maybe an hey, they Technically, we got to give another poster oh! away. Did we not, did, hold on. Did we not play the song? He, we played the song. He guessed it. Jerry, stay on hold. I don't know how we're going to get one of these things to Scotland. We might have to fly Andrew over. Okay? <laughs> but Jerry, stay on hold. Garrett will get your address. All right, Jerry? And Jerry, where are you from in Scotland? Uh, St. Andrews, where golf was born. Oh, I love it. Sure. St. Andrews. Oh, wow. What a pish. Beautiful. Okay, Jerry, thank, thank you. you so much. Yeah. Jerry, Scotland. I love it. I love the fact that we're international. Thank you, Jerry. They're both going to get one. Um, do we have Kevin Knight? 
Um, okay. Mm, coming to the show right now, weighing in at 265 pounds of twisted steel from New Jersey, the master of chaos, Kevin Knight! Yeah! Hell yeah! Woo! Woo! Kevin, we gotta get right into this match because we had a very busy show, multiple Scheiser list entries, multiple insanity, but we wanted to um, talk to you about this match because this match is going to be unique. Um, no one has ever seen, this match has never been broadcast on television, on the internet, in a movie theater, ever. Wow. Um, this match is from a few years ago. The reason why it's, uh, we, we found this very, very rare, fantastic match. Um, Kevin, why don't you, uh, take it away here? It's, uh, it's Kevin Knight versus Michael Kamet. Yes, the match that you have just unearthed features myself against Golden Boy Michael Kamet, as many people in our IWF audience know, and we'll let our East Side Dave audience know. Michael Kamet passed away tragically oh. this past June. So at our events in August, he was posthumously inducted into the IWF Hall of Fame class of 2021. That was very, very nice. He also received the IWF Lifetime Achievement Award. Wow. And our upcoming IWF Live event that kicks off our 25th anniversary celebration that takes place Saturday night, November 20th, will happen at North Arlington High School in New Jersey, where Michael Kamet went to school. Oh, North Arlington nice. High School wow. class of yeah, 2015. Yes. And the proceeds from that IWF event, November 20th, will benefit the Michael Kamet Memorial awesome. Foundation. So what Classy. a coincidence that you unearthed a Michael we, Kamet match. So we want to do something unique. See we how great he was in the ring. Yeah, we, we want to do something unique. We want to do something, um, uh, um, uh, you know, just a little special. We always play, uh, you know, it, as people know now, uh, IWF on ESDS match of the month has been going on now for quite a while. And we're uh, loving it. We always usually play, you know, modern day matches. I mean, obviously, you know, fresh matches, yep. right? And live That's matches. Right. But this is a special event. And we thought, you know what? Roy and I are such professionals. We're going to call it like it is. Wow. We're going to have a good time with this. And we're, we're going to bring the pain, bring the thunder, bring the intensity. Because it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing that you're honoring um, this, uh, this fantastic wrestler, uh, the golden boy, Michael Kamen. Well, thank you for airing this match tonight. And... I want you guys to call it like you see it. That's Let's what Michael would have wanted. Let's but this do it. Way, with all due respect, really cool Kevin. Um, a wide audience gets to see him do his thing in the ring. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Kevin yeah. Knight versus yeah. the Golden Boy. Woo! Michael Kamen starts right now. Here we are. We're into it, Kevin. Really and good. And, and let, let, let's be honest, Roy. Uh, yes. Kevin Knight is very much the heel. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because uh, we're going to be treating um, uh, the Golden Boy Michael Kamen with respect. He, Michael Kamen is in the blue trunks. Kevin Knight is in the black trunks. He, and with the uh, red knee pads. No, we're going to treat Kevin Knight like a heel because he is a piece of garbage. <laughs> Okay. Wow. He knows what he's done. He knows what he's done. He knows he came over to my house a few weeks ago. Did he? And you know what? What? I gave him a turkey sandwich. You know what he said? I a little dry. Whoa. A little dry is what he said. Wow. So you know, when someone says that, you know that they're a heel. Yeah. Well. So here we go. David, according to the tale of the tape here, golden boy Michael Kamen at only 5'10". He's obviously facing a significant height disadvantage here against a six foot five master of chaos, Kevin Knight. He is, however, blessed with a natural athleticism that has made him a former IWF. All American. right, whatever, you're All just right, controlling right. on it. On it. Yeah, here yeah. comes Kevin Knight. <laughs> and uh, Michael Kevin has a headlock on Kevin Knight. And Michael Kamet is in control right now. Pretty interesting. A smaller guy, but boy, he is leveraging Kevin Knight beautifully. Kevin Knight now, though, has him on his shoulders, maybe uh, getting ready for a backdrop. No! Wow! Kamen reverses. Big cover. One and a half, Roy. This is what I call the ultimate Betty versus Veronica fight. Explain that, Roy. Explain that. Well, I'm not familiar I, with uh, what, what that reference is. I'm going to say that because Kevin is a brunette okay. and Michael is a blonde. I see. It's got nothing to do with wrestling. It's about Archie Comics. And literally, Kevin Knight <laughs> needs <laughs> Michael Kamen right in the midsection. And Michael Kamen, the golden boy. Flips over onto the mat. He is in pain. Let's be honest. Kevin Knight has extremely 
powerful arms, powerful legs, powerful strikes and kicks, Roy Harder. Yeah, he certainly does, but now I don't know if you notice this, but take a look at that referee back there. You Irish see whip, and yes, go ahead. That referee, um, I believe he used to tape the Creepy Corner right here on Compound Media. Okay, <laughs> no one knows what you're talking about. Apologies for my uh, co announcer, Roy Harder. He's clearly on acid. <laughs> here comes Kevin Knight. And oh, a little knee by Michael Kemet to Kevin Knight. He's going to try and body slam Kevin. I don't think that's going to work out for him. Wow. Michael Kemet, not a good idea. And Kevin Knight says, You want to see a slam? Here's a slam, young man. And down to the back. <laughs> Kevin Knight. Oh my God, he's vicious. <laughs> he's, a, he's a vicious, vicious son of a gun. But he's powerful, Roy. He certainly is. Let me ask you a technical question, David. Do, the, do the wrestlers wear cups uh, on the groin? They do not wear cups, not to my knowledge. Uh, there are no cups involved. Why would you ask that question? Uh, you're thinking about uh, people's groins and midsections. And, and uh, just, uh, it's kind of eye level with me. I'm just curious. Okay, I, I mean, it's, it's a camera. I, mean, I don't know what you're, you're Kevin little... Knight has Michael Cabot in position for possibly a suplex. Let's see. And Kevin Knight one, hits him. Look at this classic once again, textbook suplex. Once Bam. again, by the groin, David. By the groin. That's <laughs> not by the groin. It was by the tights. You freak here. Two count. And Michael Cabot kicks out. I what guts. I... What courage. By the Golden Boy, Michael Cannon refused it now, to die, refusing to put, get pushed around by Kevin Knight. Now, why would he do this? Why would he pick him up by the hair? I think that's just an illegal move. Is that, that is very much legal in professional wrestling, at least to the count of five, Roy. Uh, guys, you know, tend to have their hair long. Don't ask me why it helps them fight better. A Golden Boy, Michael Cannon gets off the mat. Well, what's Kevin Knight planning to do here? Kevin Knight, oh my God, a hard right forearm into. Michael Kamen's back. He's on the ground, Roy Harder. I'm going on a limb here, and I'm going to say Michael Kamen needs to step it up here because right now he's getting he's getting uh, wiped up, as they say. Uh, on no the one says that. No one says he's getting wiped up. They uh, pretty much say that on uh, detergent commercials or, uh, you know, uh, Windex commercials. No one says you're going to get uh, cleared up. No one says that. Here comes Kevin Knight. Kevin Knight taunting, taunting. the fans, ah. taunting the audience. Taunting everyone, even taunting the referee. Maybe more wrestling and a little less taunting. What do you think about that, Dave? Well, <laughs> listen, he's playing mind games. A big, thundering right. How about that, Roy Hart? As soon as you said that, Kevin Knight listened. He and sure he, slammed, he punched the Michael Kevin right down there in the chest. I tell you, Michael needs to, to turn around at this point of the match. He needs to face his opponent. Michael needs he's, to turn around. That's he's not your gonna, uh, he's not strategy. Gonna, he's not going to get very far to, from this position. I don't <laughs> think he's intending on not turning around. And look at that, Roy. Oh. He was playing possum. I, I he got you, Roy. I Michael Kevin clotheslines Kevin Knight on the top yeah. rope. Totally. Playing possum, fooling Kevin Knight and Roy Harder, apparently. Pearson Kevin Pearson. from the top, oh. double axe handle. Wow. Roy Harder, Michael Kevin is still in this thing. Yeah, he certainly is. It looks like he's setting him up for another Kimura here. Oh, There is no such maneuver as a Kimura, Roy. I tell you time and time again, you seem to think that Kimura, the, the character from Guardians of the Galaxy, is somehow a wrestling maneuver. There is no wrestling maneuver named Kimura. That is a character in Guardians. Here comes Kevin Knight. Again, headlock on Michael Kamen. Looks like he's going for another suplex. And Whoa, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Small package. Two. Oh, my Lord. Wait Michael Kamen nearly got that beautiful small package. Got a two count on Kevin Knight, Roy Harder. I think it's a big package, but nevertheless. Uh -huh. That's the name of the uh, pin, Roy. We're not talking about penis size. That's the last time I ever have to say that on these airwaves. Fair enough. Uh, oh my God, Kevin's on his knees. Now that's something I haven't seen in a while. Hold Apologies on. Uh, 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 for Roy wait a minute. Harder. He's got him around the neck, David. Now that cannot be that legal. That is a headlock. That is all that that is. In fact, that could be a modified uh, choke, which is technically illegal, but we're seeing that that, uh, that hold is being properly administered right under Kevin Knight's jaw, so I do believe that that's legal. Kevin Knight, go oh. back to Out of nowhere, Knight back drops. Yeah. The golden boy, Michael Kevin, but you know, Kevin keeps uh, the hold on. That yeah. takes strength, that uh, takes diligence. Yeah, but I think he's also doing a lot of nerve damage uh, with that maneuver. So uh, I would you say? I, I could see his arms starting to twitch and shake. Uh, Kevin's arms are starting to be a little shaky. Look, it's like. Roy, he's who's in control right now? Break it down. Who do you like? If you were a bed man, well, are you going to be betting on the golden boy, Michael Kevin? Are you going to be betting on I the like, Master of Chaos, Kevin Knight? I'm because a, we. Yeah. We. Do not know who's going to win this match. I certainly don't, but at the way the match I'm watching, for what I could see, the Golden Boy. Oh, what a close line! I take Kevin that Knight. back, David. Never mind. 
You, so you said the Golden Boy Michael Kamet within a half of second yeah. you reversed. Well, he was on top there for quite a, for a, a bit of a second, but then uh, it looks like the story, the plot line has changed now, David. There is, this is no plot line. This is a wrestling match. This is an athletic competition between two rugged warriors right here in the middle of the ring, the squared circle. Here comes Kevin Knight. Oh, Michael Kamet ducks. Kamet with a crossbody. Kevin Knight catches him. Wait a Let's minute. see what Kevin Knight intends to do here. And I fall away. Oh. Wow. Kevin Knight punishing the golden boy, Michael Kevin Roy. Yeah, here I comes mean, the pin. That, Two. Oh, Kevin kicks out Roy. He kicked out all right. Uh, I, honestly, I think we should get him an ambulance. He looks like he's in a serious amount of pain there on the floor, David. What do you want? <laughs> an ambulance or something. An ambulance? Yeah, he's ignoring Apologies for Roy Hart. He still doesn't understand professional wrestling, though he's announced it for the last four years with he me. He may have broken a rib. There is no ambulance until we get a three count or a submission, Roy. It's as simple as that. We got to get a winner to this contest. Kevin Knight picks up the golden boy. Michael Kevin, what is Kevin? This is called a have set up possibly a power bomb here, Roy. I thought it was gonna be a hiney slap, but here he is. Oh my God! Oh, wow. Razor set. No! Wait, Wait a minute, Kevin ties it up. Don't tell me Michael Kevin is going for a uh, shoulder back. No, that's a. Yes. Oh my God! Two, one, oh. Oh. No, no, not Eight, yet, David. Two and a half count. That was as close as it gets. Very close. Michael uh, Kevin, I thought he had the upset victory right there. By the way, Michael, excellent job matching the shorts with the knee pads. I think that's a nice touch. More wrestlers should look into that. It's an embarrassment having you as a partner. Here is Kevin Knight. He Irish whips Michael Kevin, the golden boy. But Kevin, get those legs up. Yeah, not an Irish whip. That's what we call a German whip, David. <laughs> We're not going to dignify that with any sort of retort or reply. We're desperately trying to ignore you and get through to the end of this match. Here comes a, a, a crossbody for the top rope. Oh, it's a two. It's a two and three quarters, Roy Hart. Wait, wait, wait so who is counting now? Who the are, referee, you uh, fucking uh, asshole. Saying, I, from what I can see, they're both down. How do you count They this? are both down because this match has been absolutely gruesome. Yes. I mean, they have given it their all. Both wrestlers have left it all in the ring. They are exhausted, Roy. I'm exhausted just doing this commentary with you. I can't imagine how Kevin Knight and Michael Kevin feel. I think he's going up in the air again, David. There he goes. Oh. Oh. Kevin Knight has Kevin. Is he going to do a slingshot right here? Spin him around. Spin him around. <laughs> a little catapult from Kevin Knight on the Golden Boy. Yes, indeed. Right into the turnbuckle. Knight's got him. Whoa. Two. No. Whoa. Kevin kicks out. One. Oh! Wow. He kicked out. What a match! This has to be one of the greatest matches in the history of IWF on ESDS. Yeah. This has to be one of the greatest matches in the history of professional wrestling. There he goes with the hair again. Kevin oh, that's with a big right. forearm serves to Kevin right. Knight. We don't know who's going to win both better trade, Roy Harder. Well, hold on. I'm going to give you a, a bit of... Oh! Another... No! Kevin no, Knight blocks in the big right never from mind. Kevin Knight. And a twisting right hand from Kevin Knight. And a big oh. right boot from Kevin Knight onto the Golden Boy, Michael Kevin. Kevin Knight stalking, walking. He could smell the blood, David. Stalking. Here One, two. two. Oh, Never Michael Kevin kicks out. Never say die, David. That's the spirit. What heart. What courage. That is Unbelievable. The spirit. Talent from the Golden Boy, Michael Kevin. Does he have enough to put Kevin Knight away? This would be such a Cinderella story, an underdog match. Kevin Knight to heal. Kevin Knight, he has done the farthest things in this past. Look at Kevin Knight. He is picking up Michael Kamet, the Golden Boy. Kevin now trying for a choke. They're both wow. going for a choke here. And Kevin Whoa. Knight throws him right out of the ring, Roy Harder. I'm going to say insurance is not going to cover that one, David. Insurance. <laughs> yeah, he's out of the ring. Hey, um, we, we really don't uh, worry about insurance during professional wrestling, Roy. Well, somebody's got to pay their, their medical bills, David. Well, yes, but, you're, you know, that's 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 for after the match, Roy. That's that's not something that uh, we do here. I don't know if you've noticed it yet, David, but we have a full house for this match. That's very impressive. Come on, we Golden Boy. Get up there. You could do it. You we could do, do have it. a full house for this match. Do it for the, the kids, Golden Boy. The Golden Boy, Michael Kamet. Now that's spirit. Climbing back into the ring, beating Never the say. count of ten. Whoa. And he is trying to get Kevin Knight yeah. down on the mat. I don't think that's, he's going to get him. Kevin Knight pulls Michael Kamen up. This has potential for disaster for the Golden Boy. 
Oh! Oh, a oh. snake eyes! He releases Michael Cannon right on that top turn, Michael. Oh. What? Wow. A drop kick from Cannon! I don't know who's gonna win this match, Roy. Talk to me! I don't know who's gonna win this match either, David, but I'm gonna go on a limb and I'm gonna say the man who gets up next is about to take this home. Let's so see. I have, I, what you said, that's this is, the Golden Boy. This is Rocky. Michael Kamet. This is Apollo Creed right here. Rocky this just is, got up. So Kamet, the first to his feet. Uh, by Roy Harder's predictions, Kamet will now He's win this match. Let's see what happens. Kamet on the second rope. He is eyeing Kevin Knight. Here it comes. No, oh. Knight! He not only caught him, I think he got him right in the throat. Oh, man. I think Kevin got the Golden Boy right in the throat right there. Uh, he may have... He may have uh, Devastating punch by Kevin Knight. That's... Uh, that's, I mean, he's not moving, David. Well, this is insane. The master of seem, chaos. He doesn't seem to care. Kevin Knight. I would at least check the guy, see, make sure he's, you know, okay. I mean, that's just not how it works here. Kevin Knight now. Look at him. I mean, really playing the mind games, really soaking it in, really kind of gloating, if you will. Yeah. Don't you, I, don't you think? I, I'd say I mean, so. And what's with he you? Just the sportsmanship. Him. He just I'm not loves sure. Pulling hair and pulling underpants. Oh, look that's at Michael Cabot. He just the, 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 the match has been so brutal. It's different. I can't uh, it's imagine hard, it's, the, the punishment Michael Cameron has endured. Yeah, this is tough through tough. that vicious bastard Kevin Knight. Tough to watch. And here it, we go. Oh. This is now looks so, like the Razor's Edge is going to commence. Oh, this does the not Kevin look Knight, good. Master of Chaos Edge right here. Here comes Kevin Knight. If he hits this, the thing is over. Oh, oh wow. yes! Good night, Irene. That is the crucifixion move. So long. Kevin Knight will cover the Golden Boy. One, One two, two oh, three, yeah. and it's over. Kevin Knight wins. Boo! Boo! Kevin Knight won. Kevin Knight won. Boo. But Michael Cameron put up a great fight. And Michael Cameron did why. put up a great fight. I mean, it was his, it, Michael uh, Cameron put up a better fight than your commentary. That's I, for sure. I will, I will agree with that. I will Where, agree where's with that. Kevin? Is Kevin here? Do we have Kevin still? Kevin, I gotta be honest. Some, 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 some low-down, dirty tactics in that match. In that match, that was an unearthed match that was recently discovered, and we're very proud. It's the first time anyone in North America has ah, ever seen that. Crap. Unless you were in the building, no one's ever seen that. So that's a very special occasion. But I, uh, is it me, or was there a little bit of Kevin Knight, a little taunting, if you will? Have you ever heard this phrase, whatever it takes? <laughs> well, on that night, I did whatever it took to beat Golden Boy Michael wow. Cannon. You know what? And, yeah, you, you can't criticize that. Yeah. In a moment of humility, I will say that it was only my extra experience at the time that match took place that enabled me to get by Golden Boy Michael Cammett in that contest, Class act. as you all saw, he is a fantastic. Uh, he is. Was that was a, a great match. Wrestler. That, He's a Hall of Famer. But that was one of the best matches we ever had. Absolutely. That well, you know, you're only as good as your opponent, and I, I was against a top flight opponent. And Michael Kevin Knight Kamen, turning baby face on us. Yeah, no. Kevin Knight's back in the baby face camp, I think, <laughs> and that's good. We like uh, baby face, Kevin. But yeah. but wait. Yeah, I have a bone to pick with Roy Harder. Oh, okay, oh, this is good. This wow. is good. Roy, this is here good. It comes David. I, Kevin, I did everything I can to could to present this as an action-packed, exciting match, and Roy Harder just sabotaged the holy hell out of it tonight. I mean, let's be I, honest. I I noticed a little favoritism during that match, Roy, and I noticed that. You know, broadcasters are supposed to call it right down the middle, but uh, I'd say, and the audience would say that perhaps you were favoring Michael Cannon just a little bit. Oh yeah, that oh. Match. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You had some insulting things to say. Didn't what, you? Was it insulting, or I, I, like Kevin says, I did, I said what needed to be you said. Consid <laughs> you consistently predicted that Michael Cannon was going to win. Now yeah. Kevin Knight would then immediately clothesline him, and you would back <laughs> off your prediction. Well. But I think Kevin is still upset that every single time you seem to choose the Golden Boy Michael Kamet until Kevin hit him with that right. You know what well, was that all about? I, hey, it is what it was. I I expected Michael Kamet to win that match. He did not. I was a little bit disappointed. I was hoping he would. I Kevin, you put up a great fight. My hats off to you. I respect you a million fold. Uh, but 
uh, quite frankly, Kevin thought... Knight's going to come in here in the studio one day. What, is he, You're, is he, are you aware? Is he down the hall? He's he... not down here tonight. Okay. But I'm just like, letting you know like that I was if saying... you want to continue down this path of taunting a six foot six uh, gentleman, <laughs> good point. go ahead and dig your own grave. Kevin, now. I will say, though, you, you show tremendous heart and sportsmanship, and congratulations oh, on your win, sir. There he goes. There, now he's better. Now he's talking now with a little respect. Now you're my friend again. <laughs> well, now he's talking. If it's What's any, every, if it's Kevin. any consolation, Roy, <laughs> in a moment of honesty, I will say that two months after that matchup that you just witnessed, Golden Boy Michael Kamet and myself had a rematch, and Michael Kamet did come out victorious. Oh, well, right. there you go. So, uh, I, Roy, not, Roy gained uh, a lot I'm of respect, Kevin, when uh, I reminded that him that rematch, you, you'd be seeing him again. Michael Kamet was the better man. No, Michael Kamet. So, um, on November 20th, the the uh, wrestling event, it's an IWF wrestling event, and there's going to be two dates for that day, correct? 3 o'clock and 7 o'clock. There's going to be two different events on November 20th. That's correct. It takes place at North Arlington High School in North Arlington, New Jersey. Since it is at a public school, they are doing a little bit reduced capacity. So we're doing two events, 3 o'clock, 7 o'clock, Saturday, November 20th, North Arlington High School, Bergen County, New Jersey. It kicks off the IWF 25th anniversary wow. celebration. Wow. We're going to have a wow. All right. celebration with a lot of special events. And some great matches coming your way. I'm going to be there. Eastside Dave's going to be there. Woo! We have IWF heavyweight champion Charles Gaston. We have the tag champs, the Atkins brothers. American champ Rick Well, I, I might be there. Women's champion, yeah. Vivacious Vicky. Rick Ratchet, Dark Oracle Sage. And, oh, of wow. course, legendary ring announcer Gary Michael Capetta. I love that. Wow. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't want to 100% mislead. Remember, I, I, my dad's memorial service is that day. Yes, that's right. So, um, the Hopefully first. Hopefully, you could join us. First date, the, the first time, I'm not sure, but the second time, I'm, I'm going to try and work. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see. I'm going to okay, see. So, don't, 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 don't hold it to me. But this wrestling event, you, we've seen, we, we, we've been to now countless IWF events these last five years, and they put countless. on the best Great show. wrestling events Absolutely. in the state of New Jersey. Okay? So you're going to have a great, great time, and you're going to see some, some fantastic talent and some great stars and some great wrestlers. Um, Kevin, we wish you all the luck, baby. That was a hell of a match. Hell of a match. Well done, Kevin. Great hell match. match. And I we'll can't wait for our November match of the month. But yes. in the meantime, everyone go to CampIWF.com right now and get your tickets Saturday, November 20th, North Arlington High School in New Jersey. We want to see you there. 25th anniversary celebration of Bam! IWF. Yeah. All right, Kevin. Kevin Knight, the great. Kevin Knight, the master of chaos. Kevin, thank you so much. Kevin Knight, everyone. Yes, Robert. Uh, Dave, I have a question. Yes, sir. It does feel a little bit like the Eastside Dave Show screw job that he had a video of Golden Boy winning, and he sent us the one where Kevin beat him, you I know, on that. his memorial match. I <laughs> love that he did that. What? <laughs> That's the ultimate heel move. Yeah, right? <laughs> he had two matches. Yeah. And it was a special tribute match. Well, and he chose the one where he went over. Yeah. Well, I thought that was fucking fantastic. Yeah, I am, the, 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 that's the part of me, like the wrestling fan of me, that I was like, yes. Kevin is <laughs> Go a piece for of work, it. man. Don't forget, there's always then the return match yeah, at some point down the road. You never know. Maybe next year, something oh, like that. I, what, Roy? I don't know if that one is going to be returning, but uh, if oh, there was a one and a one, there was, oh, God. Yeah, not that match. A return match is uh, when it's the same two people, but it's a different match. I got they you. are returning to their their rivalry. Rivalry. Okay. We're not going to play the same thing. Oh, over and over okay. Again. I got you. Now I understand. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thanks for clarifying. What's the deal that? with Gamora? Why do you keep th insisting that there's a wrestling maneuver called a Gamora? That's a character from Guardians of the Galaxy. That's a Green Girl from it's, a Guardians it, of the Galaxy. It's not a move. Well, you're you're mispronouncing it, David. It's actually pronounced Kamora. That's not a move either. It's a choke. There is no Kimura. I, I believe there is a Kimura not, not move. Not wrestling, I, but in, in... It's MMA. When I fight MMA, we all, we have a move oh, called... That? The, what are you Roy's doing? Roy's going to Kimura him. You want me to do the Kimura yeah, on you? Yeah, real quick. All right, show This is weird. Really? For real? Go ahead, do okay. it. You're, you're the one bragging yes. about being a martial arts Big expert. Call Put him out, though. Put blue. him out. Put him out. Seriously. Put him yeah, out. It's all on you. Hand up. Hand up. Put him out. That's 50% of the uh, Eastside Dave Show earnings are going to Robert right now once you put him out. You got him? There he goes. He's gone. He got Oh, my God. He's out. Yeah, he's gone no, down. No. Oh, no. He's out. Oh. He's out, Steve. Fucking hell. Hold on, Where David. Play the song. Play the song while, while, while he's out. 
Don't touch him. Play the song. <laughs> he's out. We get the fuck out of here. Oh, I thought I was going to oh, finish man. him once and for all. Did you call 911? You're going to have to call 911. Well, he's on the road. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is, he's dead. He's, a, he's out. He's I don't see him breathing at all. I don't know how you can get a camera shot somehow, but he is out. So yeah. afterwards, get some water yeah. for uh, Robert. Okay. Told Here you it was quick. Damn, it's been a real fine day. <laughs> Damn, it's been a real fine day. Good <laughs> words. Got out my new shoes. Ain't no way to grab the news. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Robert's dead. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Hey! From Long Island to West LA. Hey! Cause I ain't in no hurry Damn it's been a real fine day There's a whole lot of trouble Out in this world There's a whole lot of worry Whole lot of worry Now that I had you Come into my life There's a whole lot of reason to sing Damn it's been a real fine day Damn it's been a real fine day Got all my new shoes, ain't no way we're gonna lose. What's that? Cause damn, damn it's been a real fine day. Yeah. Oh, right. yes. Robert's back yes. up. Yeah, he's back. Yes, yes. Robert. Robert's, Robert's back alive. up. Yeah, Robert's, Robert's alive. alive. He's alive.